Hello friends, welcome to another video from Shomu's Biology and in this video tutorial we'll be talking about the difference between the gene expression in prokaryotes and in eukaryotes. Okay, so I've been getting this question for a long time. What is the difference in the gene expression between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells? Now for understanding that question and answer, you need to know the general mode of gene expression that we know of. Now what is gene expression? Gene is called expressed when the DNA is transcribed into RNA and the RNA is translated into proteins. Because you know DNA, the double helix, contains all the informations in there. Now when we do the transcription process, it produces the mRNA, produces the RNA which is known as a messenger mRNA because they carry all the information that was present in the DNA. Now they, they carry that sequences in them and they can move. Uh, from place to place inside the cell. That's why they are messenger. Now the messenger RNA is translated into proteins. So now they will produce proteins. So once a specific gene, for example the gene segment lies somewhat here in this area, that gene segment is producing one specific protein. Okay. Now once that DNA segment is then transcribed into mRNA and then translated to proteins. This whole scenario is known as that this gene is expressed into this protein. Okay, so let's say this is an insulin protein. So insulin is produced by this gene. Let's say insulin gene or say gene I. They produce the insulin protein. So once the protein insulin is made, we call that that gene insulin is expressed. Now this is the idea of gene expression. Now the type and the mode of this expressivity is varying. It is varied from prokaryotes to eukaryotes. So now let's see what are the differences. Now if we begin with the prokaryotes and if we look at the differences, I might have to go this side to check. Probably you can't view, uh, see me, but you can see my drawings here. You know, uh, in prokaryotes, if I write them down, in prokaryotes, the idea is something different because the prokaryote have only one cell and inside the cell they don't have any nucleus. Remember, they only have the cytosol and whatever genetic content they have is present in the cytosol itself. It's not found in the uh, nucleus because they don't have any. So this is the cell filled with cytosol and the DNA materials are in the, in the cytosol itself. So this DNA is transcribed into RNA, let's say the red color, it is transcribed into RNA that, that will also be transcribed inside the cytosol itself and then it is made proteins, proteins are prepared, let's say this is a protein, proteins are made also in the cytosol. This is the basic idea of prokaryotes, all the things are occurring in the cytosol itself. But in eukaryote, if we, if we focus in eukaryotic cell, what happens in eukaryotic cell is that DNA is found in the nucleus, a specific organelle that is found. DNA is completely protected there inside the nucleus. This is the DNA for example. DNA is transcribed into mRNA inside the nucleus. Okay? And then this mRNA is processed in so many different ways. Okay? modified in so many different ways. So modified mRNA is generated. This is the modified version of mRNA. Now this modified mRNA is taken outside into the cytosol and then it is translated into proteins in the cytosol. This is the overview of eukaryotic gene expression. So now if we look at the major differences. I can tell you three major differences in the gene expressivity in prokaryotes as well as in eukaryotes. What are they? Prokaryotes don't have nucleus, so everything, because in the gene expression we have three different things, uh, the transcription and translation, mainly two things there. So transcription and translation both occurs in the cytosol, while in eukaryotes, transcription occurs in the nucleus, translation or protein synthesis occurs in the cytosol first difference. Second difference is that the mRNA that is produced from uh, the double stranded DNA, that mRNA, the, this mRNA once it is produced, complete part of the mRNA is translatable. That means 
whatever gene is found in this mRNA, the complete portion is translatable. We can translate the complete mRNA into protein. But in eukaryotes, the mRNA that we develop at the first point inside the nucleus is not completely translatable. They, uh, they have two types of sequences, introns and exons. Exons are the part which are coding, which can produce proteins. But introns are the part which don't have the capability of making proteins. So they need to undergo some sort of modification. Remember, I told you there is a modification step which is extra found in eukaryotes only. Now in this modification stage, here you see in the modification, those introns are cutted out, exons are joined together. And as well, they have a 5 prime and 3 prime modification as well. Let's say this is the 5 prime terminal, this is the 3 prime terminal of the of the pre-mature mRNA. 5 prime is attached with a guanosine residue called 5 prime capping and 3 primes are attached with adenine bases, multiple adenine bases called 3 prime polyadenylation. This modification takes place in eukaryotes which is not found in the prokaryotes. Another thing I must say in this case, the expression pattern of the genes in prokaryotes is different because you know uh, in prokaryotes they involve in the process called operon system. In that system, uh, so let me draw that uh, for your uh, identification. So let's say this is the operon system, the, the mRNA. And the mRNA we have the promoter and we have the operator and then rest of them uh, are the structural element, let's say uh, X, Y, Z, whatever the structural elements are found downstream. Now in prokaryote what happens, when you start expressing a gene, it starts from this, I mean three or four multiple genes are in control of one single promoter and this is known as polycystronic, polycystronic gene expression. While in eukaryotes, if you find in eukaryotes what happened, one gene is under the control of one single promoter, okay. So in eukaryote what will be, if there is only, only promoter, there will be only one gene, let us say gene X. So this is known as monocystronic, mono means one, so this is monocystronic, the expression is monocystronic in nature in case of eukaryotes, okay. And another uh, thing, if there are so many differences you can think of, but you know, you need to think of the major differences in all these cases when you are talking about differences and, uh, and uh, the similarities between all them. The thing is in this case, these are the major differences. But in all aspects if you see, eukaryotic gene expression is tough because it is complicated. So many proteins, so many things are involved together. And they have also in eukaryotes, they have the, the regulation of gene expression. If we talk about the regulation stages, because you know gene expression means there are several stages and they have to regulate the stages so that they produce what they desire, the proteins that we want. Now in eukaryote what happens, the regulation stages are multiple levels. They are the epigenetic level regulation, transcriptional le level regulation, translational level regulation, post translational level regulation of proteins produced. While the regulation in prokaryote is only one level that is transcription level only. There are no epigenetics level, there are no post transcriptional level, nothing. Post translational modification does not happen in prokaryotes, but it is a feature of eukaryotes. You will see epigenetic level means, you know, the DNA is coiled around histone molecules inside. So the accessibility of the DNA is a big issue where we can regulate it at that level that is the epigenetic level. And in this case, we don't have that complications. So that's I've told you that eukaryotic gene regulation and expression is much more chaotic. It's much more complicated than prokaryotes. So this, in a sense, in the difference of gene expression and regulation in prokaryotes and eukaryotes. And I hope this video helps you. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel to help us growing and so that I can keep posting these videos and definitely share with your friends. Thank you.